London Underground services are set to come to a halt due to a series of walkouts by union members. Staff working on various parts of the tube began strike action on 5 January, with the impact expected to be felt by passengers from Sunday evening. Transport for London TfL has advised people to complete their journeys by 17.30 Greenwich Mean Time, with little or no service anticipated on the tube until Friday. UK Hospitality has warned the strike is expected to cost the sector up to £50 million. Members of the Rail, Maritime and Transport Union RMT, voted to take industrial action over a below inflation pay increase of 5% a rise transport bosses have described as, the most we can afford. As a result of the action, little or no service, is expected to run on the underground between Sunday evening and Friday morning, according to TfL. While passengers have been advised to complete any journeys before 1730, the transport body said it would try to keep lines serving the Emirates Stadium, where Arsenal host Liverpool in the FA Cup, open for longer. Severe disruption is then expected for most of the week, with very few services running. The tube will finally return to a normal service by midday on Friday. With fewer commuters expected to travel into the city during the strike, Kate Nichols, chief executive of Trade Body UK Hospitality, said thousands of hospitality businesses would be affected, with an estimated total impact to the sector of, up to £50 million. January is already one of the quieter trading months of the year for hospitality, where every sale counts, and this disruption will make the start to the year even more challenging, she said. While there will be very few tube services, the London Overground, Elizabeth Line, DLR, bus and trams will all continue to run throughout the week but are likely to be very busy. Station closures may occur at locations where they also serve London Underground lines. Elizabeth Line trains will also not call at Bond Street, Tottenham Court Road, Farringdon, Liverpool Street, Low Level, and Whitechapel before 6.30 and after 22.30 on Monday and Wednesday, and before 7.30 on Tuesday and Thursday. Chiltern Railways has said its services which run via Amersham will also be disrupted because they use London Underground tracks and signalling systems, meaning trains will not be able to serve some stations at certain times. For journeys in central London, TfL has advised people to consider walking or cycling part of their journey, while electric scooter rental trials are also continuing in 10 London boroughs. The RMT walkouts are taking place over the following days. Engineering and maintenance workers held a 24-hour strike from 1800 on Friday, 5 January. They will also not take any no-rest day working or overtime until the following Friday. Control Center and Power Control members will take action for 24 hours from midnight on Sunday. Signalers and service controller members will hold a 24-hour strike on both Tuesday and Thursday. Other fleet, station and train workers will walk out for 24 hours on Monday and Wednesday.